Oh, mystery package time! Model Making Guru is sponsored by emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hey everyone, it's Fox from ModelMaking.Guru here. Hello, hello, and welcome to very, very quick mystery package time. Now, it's not actually a mystery what's in this box, but it's very, very exciting. Very exciting. So, I'm going to quickly unbox this and show you. This is, I suffered a great sadness recently. A great, great sadness. And this has fixed the sadness. It really has. And it'll also stop my thumb hurting, because my thumb has been balked for the last two weeks because of the great set you'll see so let me get the special opening knife of opening are we ready three two one Boink. oh Boink. oh three two one Boink. oh Boink. middle class nonsense Boink. oh we little oh. i don't actually know where that went that's now in space that's now in space right yes you might be able to tell might be a clue as to what this is. Yes. Yeah, very great sadness. How is everybody? I hope you are all well. Uh, given the fact that everything is on fire at the moment. Uh, I was very lucky to get this. Uh, because it's entirely possible that Royal Mail, it's been delivered through Royal Mail, may actually stop delivering non-essential items soon. So I was very lucky that this came through when it did. Very, very lucky. Because I was suffering greatly. Very much sadness. Very much sadness. more boxiness me is it a box it's a it's a, it's, a, it's I think it might be a box inside a box i think it might be oh. hang on hang on oh, is it? hang on a minute i'm just oh hello wow can't i can't actually there oh uh, yes inside a box yes now we have box two part two are we ready i heard a rattle and i think one of the things may have come off we'll put it back and i'm not the camera i do apologize i'm quite excited if i sound a bit it's because i'm really excited are we ready are we ready are we ready oh ready i'll just make sure there's no documentations okay we're ready I'll get it out of the shrink wrap. Bit of a free plug. Keyboard company, www.keyboardco.com. You can't say that. www.keyboardco.com. That's really hard to say. Purveyors of the finest keyboards and mice since 1989. 01453-884-938. Excellent, nice little placement. Let me get this out and we'll have a look-see. Right, there we go. I just need to unwrap it now. Now look, it says here, stop, halt. Cease and desist. It is not uncommon for keys or the spacebar to become dislodged during shipping. You can remove the spacebar with a small screwdriver and so on and so on and so on. Now, also we get something free here, so I'll have a look about it in a minute. Let me show you what this is. Why I am so moist and excited by this sudden presence in my home. Oh. Those of you who watch my stuff regularly will know what this is. But I never really showed the first one I got. And now I needed a new one. Oh. Oh. This is a thing of beauty. Oh. Look at that feast. All that into every single one of your eye holes. Oh. That is, if I can get the legs down, you are feasting all your eye holes on what is effectively an IBM Model M keyboard. This is the gold standard of vintage keyboards. It is a thing of beauty and it is a thing of great volume. I'll get the microphone close and you can have a listen. Hang on. Oh, let me see if I can get closer. It is a 
thing of divine beauty. Yes, I for quite a few years had uh, an IBM Model M keyboard uh, from Unicomp. Uh, it's died recently and I was very, very sad. And I've had to use a rubbishy, rubbishy Microsoft membrane keyboard piece of crap, £10 from my local Tesco. It's absolute drivel. And it's hurt my thumb because it's a rubbish keyboard and I've got to, it's like a laptop keyboard and it's really hurt my thumb. So I've had to order a new one. I couldn't get the, the old one open because it's got hex keys on the back and I couldn't get it open and I couldn't fix it. So I just got a new one and I was very, very lucky because uh, I had some money saved up. I was very, very lucky that it actually got delivered. So I have my now replacement keyboard. Now it's not obviously a, a vintage 1989 IBM Model M. This when, you know, they're, they're, you can still get those, but it's got, as you can see, a great big USB thing on the back and it has a Windows key. It is a Unicomp uh, Model M. Unicomp. Basically, the story behind these guys is uh, when IBM stopped making the Model M at their factory and wherever it is in the US, Unicomp bought all the molds and the rights to make them. So basically what they're doing is they're making Model M keyboards using the original molds with just about the original plastic formula almost, uh, <clears throat> using the original dies, the original mold, the original uh, membrane print things for the keys, the original springs and everything else. It's basically the closest you will get to owning an I actual IBM Model M because it is basically an IBM Model M keyboard. It, this is what it is. It, it may be made, has this got a date on it? Uh, no date on this one. Oh no, 27th of, uh, so the 7th of February 2020 this was made, the 7th of February 2020. So yeah, although it may have been made only a couple of months ago, it is basically an IBM Model M with a Windows key and it's USB. This is as close as you can get, unless you want to buy a real one, but a real one will have a PS2 adapter on the end. I think it's a PS2 adapter and it will cost you a fortune because they go for hundreds of dollars because they're quite rare, but they are, if you like clicky keyboards, they are the absolute pinnacle. You can keep all your modern cherry keys, you can keep all your keyboards and multimedia play and pause button nonsense, you can keep all your glow lights, gaming keyboards with a billion different things and no, this is it, this is it. If I'm going to be doing lots of typing, this is what I want. So I'm a super, 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 super happy bunny now. I've got my IBM Model M keyboard back. I'll try not to break this one. Yes, I'm going to give my old keyboard to my friend Martin. Uh, who uh, likes to tinker with electronical stuff, see if he can get it fixed. If he can, brilliant, he's got himself a Model M. If not, it goes to the tip. But it was a shame. It just a few of the keys stopped working. But that's it. So massive thanks to the keyboard company, keyboardco.com, uh, 01453 884 who are still taking orders and still seem to be shipping out. Only, I had an order a couple of days ago. Uh, so we've got a place. I've also got this. What is this? This is... This is... What is this? <gasps> This is a nail file. I'm not gonna do it over the keyboard because I'll get crap in there. It's a nail file, but that's, as model makers, <laughs> that's brilliant. I've got a filing stick, sanding stick. Brilliant, thank you very much, keyboard company. That's awesome as a model maker. There you go, keyboardco.com. So there you go, that's my IBM Model M modern version. I'm gonna get this connected in. I'm gonna type all the, th I'm gonna spend all day typing, typing all the things because I'm so sick of my rubbish Microsoft membrane keyboard nonsense. Oh, it's drivel, modern keyboards that aren't, Modern membrane keyboards. I know there's a membrane in this, but it's spring as well. But modern keyboards, nah. Anyway, there you go. Massive thank you for watching. Do take care. There's more content coming up today. I've got another Skyrim book coming, and I'm going to crack on with the Millennium Falcon. That's got more filming to do. So more content coming there. We'll have more live streams on the channel as time goes by because we're all stuck indoors because of Chocolate Velociraptor 19, Panda Moomin. Yeah, so we'll crack on with that. But take care of yourselves. Go make something awesome. Go type awesome. <laughs> and until next time, I shall say, take care, stay indoors, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your damn hands. Adios amoebas.